this back to school season welcome back to another video so i'm doing some back to school shopping and i'm bringing you guys with me i'm a college girly so i don't need that many stuff so i'm just gonna get a few stationary products maybe some clothes and probably something for my room but i guess we'll see i'm gonna definitely do a haul afterwards so yeah let's go she look like 90s and me her friends like SWV Took the weave out and left it short It's still a cow look good to me really? Your secret biggest fan is still your friend We can chill with everyone I need some more intimate You got all the taste for thug is times you get so fit Well, I'm thug and tell the beach Baby, join me if you can All you kids never said I did No, I mean it's probably not so I found the index card and I like to use Oxford because, well, they space enough and I think they're very convenient to just write little bits of notes, so I think I'm going to get this one. I mean, I like jelly pens, but it also be the fine point one, like if it's not blue, fine point, jelly, I don't want it. These, these are the ones I like. The blue ink and this brown, perfect. So cute. Look at this. It's so cute. So I already bought one. I remember when in high school I used to buy these. Let me show you guys. Like these erasers, I used to put them on my pencil. <laughs> I'm sorry, if I was in high school, I would buy so many more of these. Like the colors. Since I started doing like some journaling and for my corner, I'm going to get one of these highlighters like I'll be looking for like this is bad. Just curious. Like, these are very cute guys but I got a bag you sent me and I'm going to show you guys when I get home. basically the next day so after i finished running my errands i was so tired like the place is too hot so after i did some shopping i was exhausted i basically went home chilled and just relaxed so today i'm doing the haul and if you guys didn't notice or maybe having some questions i got my items from different places just because some places just didn't have what I wanted so I went around I didn't even bother to show you guys buildings so I basically inserted the different clips so it's haul time let's get into it I wanted to start off with my bag so I know I've shown you guys some backpacks but I said I already got something so I got this bag from my sister I think it's super cute so I already have a backpack from last semester I'm going to be using that but along with that i'm going to be using this one it's super super cute and it's leather i love love leather so it has different compartments a zipper on the side the inside has a zipper it's 
small part for like lip gloss etc and inside is pretty roomy and since i don't carry that many books at a time for each day this works for me so i'm able to carry it like this the short way and then you have the longer strap to it since this part is kind of thick it won't be that straining on my shoulders so i did get some new stuff but i had some things from last semester that it would make sense to repurchase so one of these was the stapler i got this orange one at the beginning of the school year i just think they're handy sometimes i have folders or handouts i need to put together sometimes i bring it to school sometimes it's just on my little study desk and it comes with a pack of staplers so they really last a long time so it's not too big it's basically the average size i would recommend getting a smaller one though because in that case it'll save you space but this one works well for me because as i said i don't really care to school that much i normally have it on my desk so let's get into the books i got these sparrow books i normally use them because they're really convenient for me i just love them the pages are easy to rip out and that's weird but sometimes i have a quick note i need to take out so i like to have these the thing i like about sparrow books are really the pages I like how they're spaced and i just love the texture of the pages so yeah i normally get these for a few of my courses I'm not really too iffy about the colors as long as they're not all the same color I like to distinguish courses by color and guys I also got this really cute notebook it's hella cute so it has the little bear and I really like the colors like this purple and then this shade of purple it's really cute and the detail the green outline here I like it I like the inside like this artsy thing going on here it has the pattern so basically i'm going to be using this for short notes if i have a few important notes i want to write down for each course i'm probably going to write a summary in this book and then transfer them to my actual notes when i'm getting ready to do that i've been getting into journaling lately so i got these cute books and i've been saying cute so often but they really are <laughs> it comes in this packet let me open it about three in there i like to write my to-do list and i also like to journal sometimes so i thought i get these books so this is the first one so it's very small very light but i'm able to just write down my to-do list for the day this is the second one it's basically like the first one so the inside is the same but the cover is different and the pages basically like this I really like them I'm going to start up in my journaling game so I wanted to get these and I don't really write a lot for my journals so the size is perfect for me and this is the last one it's giving a tropical vibe and I like the stripe pattern I just like the detail so I think my favorite one is probably this one I just really like it I also got a few pens these are the ones i like to write with i know a lot of people don't like the gelling pens but they just do the job for me they help me to write faster and prettier so i definitely use them i got some rsvp pens as well but those are just for documents if i have to sign something then i definitely use those but when i'm writing notes it has to be this gelling pen next i got this highlighter so i don't use highlighters that much that's why i only got one this is basically for my to-do list or when i'm journaling i don't really use highlighters when i'm taking notes because i think it takes up too much time i like it because it's adjustable you can do like wide across and then you have the pointed parts here so you can do it small if you want to and i wanted a pink theme in my book so i went for the pink one <laughs> i think it's cute I also got some pencils so I don't use pencils when I'm taking notes but for my exams when I'm doing multiple choice I definitely have to use an HB2 pencil so I got this pack Sargent Art so it's a pack of 12 so it's basically the regular pencils probably should have gotten the ones that come sharpen but it's fine and the pack will basically last me a semester because as I said I'm not using these every day so that's why I just got the pack of 12 I'm also upgrading my study table so I got this pen pencil 
holder or stationary holder. It's basically a metal container. I basically just put my pens in here and my highlighter and it's just good to go. I think I was telling you guys about index cards. I like to get these, the Oxford ones. So it comes in a pack of a hundred. I like the white ones because the colors are just distracting for me. If I need to memorize things, I like to write them on the index cards. So what I do is basically write a question on the blank part and then write the answer where the lines are. I make a stack and then use my elastic bands to keep them together. When I'm ready to go through them, I just look at the questions and then turn to see if I remember the answer. Along with index cards, I also got these sticky notes. They come in a pack of four. So all I have to do is write something down here, take off this part, and just stick it to whatever surface. And this is basically like my reminder for the day. I also got this folder, super cute. So it has like three shades of pink. I really love the details. It's subtle and cute. A one inch D ring binder. I'm not going to use this for folder leaves. Last year I got some handouts and I also printed some notes. So I basically have them in a huge envelope and it's not working. So I thought I'd just punch some holes in them and put them all together in this folder. It has like this small area. If you want to put any tiny things here, then you know you'd put documents in the ring. And it just opens like that. So yeah, I love this bad. Really like it. Next is my trusty calculator. So I didn't just get this. I had this a while ago, but I'm just showing you guys the things I have and I use regularly. I use the Casio calculator. I really like it. It never fails me and you can do a lot with it. But then again, it just depends on what course you're doing. For me, I'm definitely going to be using a calculator and I'm probably going to use this for the next academic year as well because they last a while. Once you get a good calculator, then it's just good for a few years. So I definitely recommend investing in a decent calculator if you're going to use one and they'll probably last you a long time. I also got some items for my room. But I'm not gonna really show you guys because that's not really like school supplies related but if you guys are interested I might just do a dorm room or a college room haul or college room shopping with me I got this kind to define and shine custard I was really hoping to get just the coconut curling cream but I'm not seeing that around so I said I'd try this one instead and I'm kind of hoping for the best like it smells really good yeah, like so good and it's kind of like a liquid thing going on. So I'm going to update you guys on that to see if it works. So I think this basically wraps up the haul. I just wanted to show you guys the things I use on a daily basis. If you have any questions for me, go ahead and leave that in the comment section. As always, I appreciate you guys and thanks so much for the support. Remember to like, share and join the family. Subscribe. As always, stay safe guys. Bye.